guys and welcome back to my channel so today i am filming a ColourPop haul i placed a large order when they were doing their build your own palette deal um and i really wanted to um get a bunch of these single shadows because i've really been into depotting lately and building my own palettes and i love ColourPop eyeshadows so i figured why not like you know take advantage of the deal and also place a big order since it was my birthday when i ordered everything and it just came in today and so i asked you guys on instagram yesterday if you wanted to see me film this and a lot of you guys said yes um so i decided to unbox with you guys so here are my goodies i'm super excited i'm gonna open them with you on camera um i placed another large order as well the other day um but those were just like a bunch of single palettes um because I have, like I said, I've really been into depotting and I feel like ColourPop makes really great palettes, like empty palettes. And since they're only 10 bucks for their large ones that fit, um, I believe it's 24 eyeshadows, I was like, yeah, let's just do it. Um, so let's get into this. I'm super excited. Let's see. Don't need that or that. Like, they do so good with their packaging like look at this look at all of this wonderful goodness i am so excited so this is what the empty palettes look like and look at how cute that is oh my goodness and they come like this you know magnetic in here um super cute so basically I have three of those and I placed when I ordered my other just empty palettes like this I placed um an order for the pink ones because they also came in pink but they were sold out and then they came back in stock a few days later um so I ordered a couple of those and then I ordered a couple other styles that they had so basically um I'm just gonna get into all the stuff I ordered so I ordered one of their pressed powders looks like this and basically the way I am making these palettes, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make it as well. I was thinking of like, I don't have a lot of blushes, like I have maybe like five or so. Um, and I was like, you know, I want more blushes, but in colors I normally wouldn't gravitate towards. Um, kind of just branch out of my norm. And I also wanted to get like, um, eyeshadow, or not eyeshadow, um, face powders to where I can set my under eye and like contour and um, bronze and everything like that all in like one single palette which is what this is essentially going to be so I have like the um what is that thing called the Kat Von D shade and light like face palette um here is another pressed powder and this is in the shade light. So this one over here, sorry guys, I'm totally all over the place. So this is in the shade Fair. And like ColourPop eyeshadows and um, any pressed powders that they have, they all come with the name in the back like this. So like you can place them in palettes and you can still know what you're using if you ever like need to reorder or if you know you're trying to tell somebody exactly what you're using you will know like it's not like um you'll never know what it is that you're using you know so i figured since um i threw away my shade and light palette because i was um done using it i had like only the two darkest shades left and i was like i'm not gonna use this like it's no good to me i was like i might as well just buy new stuff so this is the pressed powder cheek and this is a uh, highlighter is this a highlighter oh no sorry this is a bronzer sorry so this is the bronzer in the shade spectacle and this is what this one looks like oh this is like the perfect contouring one oh my god this is so exciting i love this this is like joy so this is what this bad boy looks like. So it's a nice, like, cool tone brown. Um, this will be perfect for contouring, especially since I'm very fair skin. And then here is the shade Private Party. And this is another bronzer as well. Right? Am I right? Yes. Sorry. It's very small writing. I can't always uh, read it. But yes, this is a bronzer as well. So this is, like, let me show you. This is more of a cool tone bronzer and it's matte, so this is perfect for contouring. Whereas this one is, let me see, 
this one is a little bit more warm tone. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it has a slight sheen to it. So this one will be great for bronzing. Um, and then let's see. I know I ordered a highlight. Here's one of the highlights, right? Yeah, so this is in the shade Dreamscape. And this is like, oh my god, this is just beautiful. And I'll swatch these at the very end um, and insert video of that. So you guys can see what it looks like. Look at how beautiful this highlight is going to be. Oh my word. I am in love. So, Okay, so I have to figure out um, what is going to go on my blush palette before I finish this one. But this is what this one looks like so far. So there's one, I think I have a blush that I want to put in this. Um, and this will be like my go-to, like, perfect highlighting contouring um brightening like palette so that i don't have to go through like five different bronzers five different powders like i clearly just be like this is what i need and this is perfect so this is what it looks like guys it's absolutely beautiful like this makes me happy so then we're gonna go into the eyeshadows or actually no we'll go into the blush so for blush they were running this um already like customized um build your own blush palette and it was like purple tones and my favorite color is purple but I don't wear like dark um blush at all like I wear very practically bronzer shade blush one of my go-to blushes and this is in the shade concept by Tarte like this is very very like bronzer-esque tones you know very natural cool or warm tone um has a slight sheen to it like something that just gives me a little bit of a flush but nothing too crazy whereas whereas um the palette i ordered is like dark tones like it's beautiful but it's a little intimidating um which is kind of why i placed the order for it because i was like you know i'm never gonna buy a palette like this without a deal like this so this is in the shade let me wipe this off. Where is my rag? Over here. So this one is in the shade Glass Slipper. And this is what this bad boy looks like. Beautiful. Like, this is beautiful. But, again, it's a lot darker than what I um, would normally gravitate towards. So that's why I was a little, like, hesitant at first to, um, you know buy a palette like this but for the price like oh duh I should have said how much it costs so normally um eyeshadows from Colourpop I believe are five dollars and then their press like face powders are anywhere between I think it's six and eight I will correct myself if I'm wrong actually I'm so these um your face powders retail for nine dollars sorry nine dollars but then your bronzer blush highlight retail for seven dollars so this palette well including the other one that's missing right here it will retail for 44 dollars during their um build your own palette but if you buy it separately it's obviously a lot more um which is why i think this deal is like so good like you can get so much product for like half the price that's literally what it is i believe it's when they're doing this um promotion it's 50 percent off if you do um the 24 eyeshadow pan um or the six shadow or six face powders um but if you buy it like individually or one of their smaller ones it's gonna be a little bit more so it just depends on um what you're really looking for if you don't want that much you know you don't need to but obviously i am obsessed with makeup so hmm of course I had to go for the bigger palettes couldn't resist so I'm gonna finish this palette here so again these are like my highlighting and um, setting powder these are my contour and my bronze and then this is a highlight over here and then I'm going to just add in the shade let's see this is um, the blush in the say in the shade to the 10 so this is what this one looks like so this is what I normally gravitate towards which is like a nice nude peachy kind of shade super pretty because i want you guys yeah there we go oh there we go that's much better so that's what this one looks like so this is essentially gonna be like 
my go-to, you know, like, there you go, that's a much better representation. Look at how pretty that is. And this is $44, like, I couldn't, I couldn't build my own palette anywhere else for that cheap. Um, and for, like, amazing quality. So, that one's that. So now we're going to go into the blush. Um, so I'm first going to start with the much brighter colors. So this is in the shade Whirl. Let's, let's talk about this one. Look at how bright this one is. But I feel like especially like now that we're in springtime, like this would be so pretty. Like it would be absolutely beautiful. Especially like if you do like a pastel eye. Oh my god. I cannot wait to use that one. And now we're going to go into Glass Slipper. That's what this one looks like. This one um, is beautiful. I love the tones of it. It's a lot darker, but still very rosy. Um, and I feel like this one will be really, like, complimentary to a lot of different looks. And again, these are, like, not really what I would typically gravitate towards just because they're so dark or they're very bright. Um, they're not, like, your go-to, I guess. At least not for me. Um... Which is why I'm kind of excited to play with these because I feel like these would be super fun. So now this one is in the shade Noodle. And I feel like this one is one I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of. Um, it's super pink. Like kind of almost bubblegum pink. Um, super cute. Super cute. Super excited to start using that one. And here is Above and Beyond. And this one's almost the same. But I'm going to show you guys what these look like together. But not exactly so almost oh my god but this one's darker so noodle is darker than above and beyond but they're still very beautiful colors um and they'll be easy to work with then we have these highlights this one i'm super excited for i don't use um a lot of colorful eye or um highlights i'm kind of intimidated by them just because i feel like I don't know. I don't know exactly, like, how I would wear it or when I would wear it. Like, I, I stick to, like, my Rodeo Drive, like, my very, um, classic highlights, I guess you can say. So this one I'm going to be excited to use. This one is in the shade Swirl. And this is, like, bam, in your face. And it has a slight shift to it. Um... It's just absolutely beautiful. And again, I will insert swatches at the end of these. Um, but again, I'm super excited to use that. I think it's absolutely stunning. And again, for the price, like, you just cannot, like, you can't. Like, you can't resist. At least I could. Um, and then this one is, I think, the safest out of all of them. This one is in the shade Angel Food. So this one is, um, has a slight pink shift to it but not really too much to where it will be like hard to use if that makes sense. I feel like the hardest to use will be um, Swirl and what was this one called again? Let's see. Swirl and Whirl. Hmm. Of course. Those are I think going to be my hardest to get used to but look at how beautiful that is. Like this is all like uh, cheek stuff you know um I feel like this one and this one will be great toppers like these are my highlights and then these right here are blushes so for example like for me I feel like this one will be easy to use with like anything it's the same with like these right here and I feel like this one would be beautiful on especially darker skin tone so like once I'm a little bit tanner I feel like it'll, I'll be really able to wear it more often whereas this one and this one I feel like would look great together as like a topper um so yeah cannot wait so now we're gonna go to eyeshadows so I um I don't know if you guys know of Samantha I'll link her um YouTube down below but her name is Samantha let me see she made a video on color theory which if you guys don't know what that is it's super fascinating it's basically the concept of um what colors look great together um and how to not have like muddy eyeshadow and um how to essentially like have the best okay let's see this is who i'm talking about i don't know how to pronounce her last name 
but this is what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can zoom it in enough. Yes. So Samantha made this awesome video on color theory. And again, so she basically was saying like if you want to blend out colors, like try to use their primary color so you get a better payoff. So what I did when they were doing, when ColourPop was doing their build your own palette sale, um, I made sure to snag like a yellow and a red because I already have blues from their last build your own palette and this is essentially some of my eyeshadows from them. So I have like this one that's a matte. Actually these two right here are mattes and so is this one. So I was like, okay, I have matte blues already but I don't have the matte yellow that's like a true yellow or I don't have a matte red that's a true matte red. So that is what I did. I made sure to snag these bad boys. So I have this one that's in the shade Take Flight and then I have this one that's in the shade Tiki. So these are both um, not 100% yellow yellow. I feel like they're more of a mustard yellow. I feel like maybe Take Flight is more like a true yellow than Tiki. But again, they're like close enough to where I think I can make them work. Um, so those are some and I'll show you guys at the very end how I end up putting these pods together because I'm going to just give you guys a little sneak peek. On my Instagram I was telling y'all how I have been into depotting right? So I did this. I depotted my 35 shade palettes from Morphe. So I had the 35O, which was the original like warm tone palette that had a mixture of shimmers and mattes. And then I depotted my 35P palette, which was all purple shimmers and mattes. And I combined them into this. Oh my God. Can we please take a moment? Like, look at how big this is. This is just beautiful. And let me show you comes with a mirror ba bam so that's what this looks like so I'm essentially um, depotting some of my palettes that I'm trying to get a little bit more use out of and I'm going to be like doing some configuration between those so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a smaller palette just of like primary colors well I'm not gonna make like a just a three shadow palette but I'm essentially gonna make one that's like primary colors and secondary colors so I could have it to go to when I am going to start like making more editorial videos so that I don't have to like go through different palettes um but here is the red and this is called oh shit but on camera it looks a little bit more orange it's red it's red I promise or at least I'm pretty sure I bought it thinking it was red um Let's see what else. All right, let me just start doing these. So this is how they come. Nice and secure, just like the pressed powders. All right, like this. And I'm not going to take these out of their housing quite just yet until I have a better idea of how I want to sort them. So then I got this one, which is a mustard yellow. This is called Paper Tiger. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, I um I have the Kathleen Lights palette by Morphe from like 2016 that I absolutely love and I was gonna grab it for you guys but I don't think it's upstairs um and some of the shadows I'm hitting pan on and so I use that to like make this eye look which is my like go-to everyday um simple yet like something's on my face eye look um and I'm hitting pan on the shadows that like I use to create that look so I'm trying to find replacements so this is the color chic happens which is like a nice dusty mauve and then we have get it or uh, going steady which is like a nice plummy purple wine color look at how pretty that is next we have double date so, um, let me give you guys a backstory to my order. I wanted to place a big order on, like, purple tones because, again, that's my favorite color. And I don't actually have a lot of purple tones besides my 3-5-P palette that I just depotted. Um, and so I was like, let me take advantage of this moment and buy more purple eyeshadows. So... That's what a lot of this is going to be. And they're going to be hints of purples and mauves. So this one is Double Date. So 
so I totally apologize. My camera just died on me and I realized I wasn't recording audio for like the last five minutes. So yeah, let's keep going before I lose my mind. So this is the shade Double Date. I don't know if I recorded this one or not, so I'm just going to show it once more. And then that's a shimmer. Then we go into Mr. Sandman. This is like, this is exciting. This one is like pressed glitter or like a duochrome. I don't even know how to explain it. It is just beautiful. Let me just take this one out of the packaging. Like, I think you can even see like some of the chunks in it. Oh, this is just delicious. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is just music to my ears. Oh, okay. So that one is Mr. Sandman. And I think this is actually one of their like best selling eyeshadow. Um, like single eyeshadows. I could be wrong though. I could just be making this up. But I'm pretty sure that's what I saw. Or it's like always sold out every time I try to purchase it at least. So this is now called Muscle Beach. And I, uh, is this the same shade as this one? No, it's not. Okay, I was about to say, whoa there. So like for example, for my blue tones, I was missing like a matte version of these over here these are all like shimmers except for these two right here so this one will be wonderful like to pack and blend when i use all my blues like my tealy blues um so this is why i bought this one and now we're gonna go into la playa and this is like a beautiful green oh one of my favorite colors to use is green um i don't know if it's because i feel like it makes my eye pop or if it's because i just love a good green eyeshadow look um but green i'm here for it so this one is called liar liar and it's like a pinky white has like a little shift to it super cute then we got Ready or Yacht. <laughs> I love ColourPop names because they just have the funniest names sometimes. They're like a play on words. So this one is like a peachy orange, like a very light peachy orange. And this one's a shimmer. Then we have, I don't know how to pronounce this. Kwai? Kwai? No, I'm totally not pronouncing this right. This is K O I. Cool. No, not gonna try it. This is like a sherbet orange. Super beautiful. And this one is a matte as well. And then we have, let's see, what is this one? We have Crisscross, which is like a brick brick orange red and again I will be including um, swatches of all of these and how I end up deciding to place them Ooh. so this one is in the shade say I do and this is like a very beautiful pink it's like a matte pastel pink it's not even pastel it's more of a like rosy pink I guess you could say but I feel like this one is going to be great to blend out, like, to use as a transitional shade. Or as just, like, a wash of color for, like, a no-makeup makeup kind of eye look. So this one is called Try Me. Beautiful! And I want to say this one's a matte. Yeah, this one's a matte. Sorry, guys. This one's a matte. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, my God. It's not in focus focus darn it there we go look at that now we're gonna go into let's see oh oh my god I'm living for this color gosh give it to me this is called tooth mango look at how beautiful this one is I want to say I have something similar to it already yeah so this one's also from ColourPop and this is in the shade Howling. Um, look at these two together. Like, these are going to be... I want to focus. These are going to be a great duo. Look at that. So this is more pink. So now we have this shade. Now we have the shade Sleeper. 
which is this beautiful like dark plum and yeah this one's also a matte and we have this beautiful shimmer in the shade on a winds and it's like a cool tone like silvery blue we have now come back kid which is this bad boy right here another shimmer now we have up and up which is a beautiful green like look at that that is gonna be great we have Prowlin. <laughs> this one's a beautiful, like, lilac y color. A nice shimmer as well. And lastly, we have Meteorite, which is like a brick orange, well, uh, orangey red as well as the other one. So, this one's gonna be great for like a matte eyeshadow look. Um, so, now I am just going to pop these into my palette um i'm gonna try to do it in a way that makes sense at least for now um and then once i am like done doing all my uh depotting and everything and once i get my palettes in from ColourPop that i just ordered i will show you guys in another video like how i decide to organize everything like what color story i'm going for um because i think i think this is more of a temporary thing for now um even though I love this, like, this is just beautiful. Like, the way this one goes, we have shimmers. And this is, like, all my orange shades. Then we have shimmers as, ooh, shimmers as well. And these are all my purples. This is more of, like, my pink row for now. And then we have shimmers as well. And these are all, like, um, light tones right here. And these will be like great for um, highlighting. And then these are all mattes. So this is my purple mattes, my um, cool tone mattes, I guess you could say, warmer tones, and then my neutrals. So these are all like black, dark browns, taupes, and then uh, down here we get to like your transitional shades. So this palette makes sense, but. I think I want to add like a better color story to them um kind of like for example this one like this one is to me like exactly how I want to have them because this is like all blues and greens like if I'm like oh I want to do a blue eyeshadow or I want to do an entirely green eyeshadow look like I could pop this out and be like okay I have all these green eyeshadows where do I want to go from here whereas with this one it's two color stories um and two color stories that don't really make sense right now but it is still beautiful to look at like i look at it and it brings me joy and i'll insert you guys um a picture at the very end of what it looks like but it's absolutely stunning um it's like just as appealing as this but this one is just like like look at all these blues and greens like it makes me happy like I've always wanted to purchase the Natasha Denona blue and green palette it's like 265 and um I just can't bring myself to do it even when they do like their um Sephora sales I think it still comes up to like 200 and some dollars even with the 20% or 20% off or the 15% off and I'm like yeah I could buy so much more makeup for that amount of money so yeah so that's what I got this for um and my other greens and stuff so like for example like I have let's see if I can grab them all so like see I have four more blues and greens now these all need to be whoo, with these so now I have to you know figure out how I want to do these so I'll keep you guys posted. I'm probably going to start a series on depotting if you guys are interested. Um, I was telling one of my friends how I think, like, depotting is so fascinating. Like, I don't know why I didn't do it earlier because I'm subscribed to BoxyCharm, right? And I have a lot of um, small palettes from BoxyCharm that I kind of forgot about because they just get lost in the mix. Like, so I gravitate more towards, um, like bigger palettes I guess you can say like more put together palettes um so those palettes always get lost in the mix for me so that's why I wanted to depot those as well those are in that big um purple palette as well but 
I still have a few single eyeshadows that are floating around that I um I wanna I wanna find them at home. I wanna um, I wanna put them in the palette. So I will keep you guys posted on how that ends up looking. Um, they're gonna, I have like six of these bad boys coming in. I have two of the pink tones. I have um, one of their, I think it's like a holographic palette. And then I have two, two pink palettes. I don't, I don't remember exactly what they look like. But I know in total it's six palettes. So I want to find my home and I want to find a great color story for all of these so that way I can show you guys and if you guys are interested, I can show you a method to my madness. So that is it for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, I love ColourPop makeup so if you guys have never tried them, I would definitely suggest doing so. I have found some amazing products because of ColourPop. Like I have found a love for their brown sugar palette which is this one right here. This one is in um, collaboration with Karushi. Kar Karushi, I think that's how you say your name. Sorry if I said it wrong. But this is what this one looks like. And this is also a um, magnetic palette that you can just pop these out. So what I did in my order when I placed um, the just blank palettes order, I bought the purple one. And I bought, I think that one's called It's My Pleasure. And then I bought the green one. And I want to say that one is called, like, My Luck or something like that. I can't remember exactly. But it's the brown. Oh, it's the purple and their green palette. Again, I told you guys, I love purple eyeshadow and I love green eyeshadow. So I cannot resist. Especially because they're, like, $9. They're, like, either $9 or $12. I'm like, for this? And it comes to me, like, how can I say no? They get me every time. Every time I go onto the website, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's really cheap. I can get that. So try them. Knock them before, or don't knock them before you try them. They're amazing. Their products are amazing, and they're so affordable. Um, the only thing I have not tried from them is their foundation and their um, stick foundation. So I think I'm gonna give those a try next time. I did, however, try their um, concealer, and that one is amazing. But I recently discovered the Elf Cosmetics um, concealer, their their 16 hour camo concealer, which is that one's amazing as well that one's like five dollars and it's like ginormous and it's like you don't even need much like you just need a little dab and you're good to go so not to go on a tangent here but if you haven't tried ColourPop try them for sure especially if you're like looking into making a palette for yourself or into you know trying a little bit more risque colors like you know the blush palette that I am trying out you know it's definitely worth it it's Especially for the price like you're getting it for half off like you can you can't knock them before you try it, you know, so Here is one Blush Look at that like that is just so beautiful And then here is the face one and again, these are all customizable So if you don't like all purples you can get peaches and rosier colors and then we have this one right here Like tell me you I just I can't this is perfect. This one is going to be a go-to. And then I will keep you guys posted on how I end up doing all of these beauties over here. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will be back in a few days with another new video and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!